How and why should you get accredited in construction management? Accredited construction project managers earn on average 30% more than their non-accredited peers. Looking at the US alone, a PMP certified project manager earns on average 130,000 US dollars per year, when a non-certified project manager earns on average 93,000. But what is accreditation? Accreditation is a credential awarded from a professional institute like the Project Management Institute. To get an accreditation, you typically require three things, a minimum amount of on-the-job experience, a minimum amount of education in construction management, and then to sit and pass some form of exam. As opposed to a university degree that takes years and costs tens of thousands of dollars, you can get accredited in as little as weeks for only a couple of hundred dollars. Accreditations lead to higher salaries, quicker promotions, and better job opportunities. But why is this the case? Well, employers use accreditation as a way of seeing that people have obtained certain skills. For example, if you have a project management accreditation, an employer will see this as you understand the fundamentals of project management. On top of the employer seeing you as having these skills, you also obtain these skills. So you've got to more effectively perform your job. And the third reason is a correlation more than a causation. So people who would go out, they're motivated to get an accreditation are more likely to be the people who work hard, the people who are willing to go the extra mile for their job. So if you consider that last point, that the accreditation self-select for people who are already likely to succeed, you probably can't infer that getting an accreditation will automatically boost your salary by 33%. However, in an increasing number of job opportunities, and you can simply Google project management careers, employers will ask for a PMP certification or some sort of project management certification. So you can see that it is something employers look for. Looking holistically at it, even if you can't attribute all of that 30% salary increase to directly obtaining the certification, considering you can obtain the certification in a number of weeks for a couple of hundred dollars, it seems like it's worth it. The next question to ask is, as a construction manager, which certification should you go for? So in this video, I'm gonna cover each of the different construction management certifications and I'll talk about the effort, the cost, the learning benefits, and also the quality of the certification and the recognition. The first one is the PMP, the Project Management Professional, and this is the certification IA. The PMP is a globally recognized certification developed by the Project Management Institute. If you've got four years of project management experience, you can apply for the PMP. If you have less than this, you can apply for the CAPN. The certification covers the foundations of project management and is a widely recognized certification. So ranking the PMP and the CAPN. In terms of effort, the PMP requires you to sit a 35 hour project management course and pass an exam. So in terms of effort, it's right up there. It costs around $500 to $1,000, so depending on the cost of sitting an exam and also the cost of the 35-hour project management course. The learning quality is four. It's the gold standard of project management. However, it's not very well applied to the construction sector. The information in it is very generic, but in terms of recognition, we'll give it a five because the PMP is the most widely recognized project management certification out there. The CAPM is a little bit less effort. You only have to complete a 24 hour project management course and it's cheaper to sit and pass the exam. The next commonly sat construction management certification is the Certified Construction Manager or the CCP course from the Construction Management Association of America. It's a highly respected certification, particularly in the US, because it's highly focused on specific construction management skills. It talks about things like leadership, safety, risk management, and project delivery. So in terms of ranking this certification, in terms of overall effort, it's less than the PMP because you don't have to sit a 35 hour project under in course. However, it's more expensive to sit the exam in terms of learning quality, it's good because it's construction specific skills, but it's not as widely recognized as the PMP. A lot of people don't know the certification exists when everybody recognizes the PMP. The next certification is the PMI 
CP. So this is the Project Management Industries Specific Construction Professional Certification. The PMP has released an additional certification tailored just at construction managers. It's less effort to get than the PMP and it requires you to sit four construction specific modules. So ranking this certification in terms of effort, you only have to sit the four one and a half hour modules and you have to sit and pass an exam. So it's a, le a lot less effort than the PMP. However, it is slightly more expensive because you have the modules come directly from the Project Management Institute, so they're slightly more expensive. The learning quality, I would rank a five because it's tailored just to the construction industry and builds on the fundamental project management skills from the PMP. However, in terms of the recognition, I'll give it a three because it's not as widely recognized as the PMP. Even though it's still from the Project Management Institute, most people are not aware that the PMI CP exists. So the next widely recognized industry certification that I'll talk about is the Certified Cost Professional. So the Certified Cost Professional is a construction management certification targeted just at estimators, cost controllers, and cost engineers. It's focused on budgeting, forecasting, and financial control of projects. So if you are an estimator or in an estimating type role, this certification is going to be much more tailored towards your specific job and would be much more widely recognized for estimating jobs. So in terms of effort, I'll rank the CCP four because you only need to sit and pass an exam. It's slightly more expensive than the PMP. It has a higher learning quality because it's tailored just towards cost estimating cost professionals. However, again, it's just not as widely known as the PMP. Final one I'm gonna talk about is the CQMC, which is the Construction Quality Management Certification, which is a US-based certification targeted just at quality assurance and control on construction projects. Again, like the Certified Cost Professional, it's a targeted certification for individuals working in quality control on construction projects. So depending on your specific career aspirations and goals, if you wanna work in quality control, it's a fantastic certification. However, if you want to work in general construction project management, it's too specific. For the CQMC, it's less effort. You only have to sit and pass an exam. It's cheaper. The learning outcomes will depends on whether you want to work in quality control or project management, but it's not a widely recognized or known certification. So in terms of my recommendation of which certification you should go for, my strongest recommendation is for the PMP. It's globally recognized certification and a lot of employees actually ask for it in job posting. So in terms of the recognition you're going to get, it's by far the best, which to me is the most important benefit of a certification. And there's evidence to back up that obtaining your PMP will increase your salary. On top of that, it's a transferable certification. So if you get something like the construction management certification, only applicable or recognized within the construction field. However, if you get something like the PMP, depending on where you want to take your career, if you want to work in renewable energy, project development, other adjacent industries to the construction sector, then the PMP will still be broadly recognized. And on top of that, the fundamental project management principles that you're gonna be learning about, like scheduling, procurement, and risk management will be applicable to your role in the construction sector. So the learning quality is also quite good. Accreditation is just one strategy to boost your earnings, to boost your salary as a construction manager. If you wanna learn how I tripled my salary as a construction project engineer, then watch this video next.